From Lindenwald High School, this is the Morning Roar. With anchors Javier Morales and Denasia Townsend. With meteorologist Marquez Haywood and the 411 with Elder Mendez. Good morning, LHS. I'm Javier Morales, and welcome to today's broadcast of the Morning War. And I'm Marquez Ava. Today is Monday, May 13, 2019. Attention all freshmen and sophomores. It's that time of year for us to get excited about your trip to Dorney Park and Wildwater Kingdom. This trip will happen on Saturday, June 1st, and is limited to the first 100 people to sign up and pay. The cost is $75 and includes coach bus, both park tickets, and lunch. All money is due May 22nd. Sophomores see Mr. Flood Orion or Ms. Hafner to sign up. Freshmen see Mr. Olsen or Ms. Edwards to sign up. Do not miss this chance to have fun with your friends before the end of the year. Sports physicals are Thursday, May 30th, 2019. All students must have a completed packet. All forms must be received by the nurse by 8 a.m. on May 23rd. Do you want to hit a teacher with a dodgeball? Well, here's your chance. Lindewall High School is presenting the first annual dodgeball tournament on Wednesday, May 22nd, after school in the gym. There will be teams of five, $15 per team or $3 per student. The winners of the student bracket will play the winners of the teacher's bracket bracket in a winner-takes-all final death match. The winners will receive a championship ring. Students, if you wish to participate, please sign up with Coach Egan, Coach Campbell, or Mr. Sabolski by Friday, May 17th. In need of community service, are you part of the pollution or part of the solution? Coach Egan is offering five hours of community service on Friday, May 17th. The event will begin at 2.30 and will involve cleaning up the school, park, and trails of litter. Trash bags and gloves will be provided. Students, are, students that are helping are requested to donate $3 towards the Senior Athletic Scholarship Fund and will earn five hours of service for their donation and time given. Any questions, please see Coach Egan. Attention students, only 13% of the students here at LHS have completed their community service hour requirement for the year. You must earn 10 community service hours every school year in order to move on to the next grade level or to graduate. This is what you need to do. Pick up a community service form from the main office. Complete a community service hour activity. Have the person in charge of the activity sign your form. Finish filling out the form. Turn it into Mrs. Martin, the assistant principal in the main office. Repeat this process until you have earned your 10 hours of community service. If you have any questions, see your coach, advisor, teachers, counselors, or Mrs. Martin. The next National Honor Society meeting is on May 16th after school in D208. This is our last Chick-fil-A Leader Lab. Attendance is mandatory. Attention all thrill seekers. Do you like to skate? Do you want to learn? The Adventure Club will be hosting a field trip to Hollydale Ice Arena for indoor ice skating on Saturday, May 18th. You do not have to be a member to attend. The cost is only $20. Please see Mr. Miles or Mrs. Clark for a permission slip. Attention students, do you want to go to college but not sure what you want to do? Come out to room D100 on Tuesday, May 14th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. to discuss your career interests and how you can get into the right college. Ms. Murray will give you community service hours just for attending. See her in the main office with any questions. It's weather time and let's go to our meteorologist. I'm about to remind you that I have showers in a high of 55 and a low of 46 and winds come from the northeast at 11 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the 5 day forecast. On Tuesday we'll have mostly cloudy skies and temperatures at a high of 57 and a low of 45. On Wednesday we'll have partly cloudy skies of a high of 66 and a low of 51. On Thursday we'll have showers of a high of 69 and a low of 53. On Friday we'll have partly cloudy skies of a high of 72 and a low of 55. On Saturday, we have party cloudy skies of a high of 73 and a low of 55. Now, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Elder Mendez with 401. Join us as we recognize another staff member of the week. I'm Jason Martinez here with the staff member of the week, Ms. McIntyre. So tell us, what do you like to do in your free time? I like to spend time with my daughter. We um, like to do a lot of things together, some outdoor things, indoor things. She's 17, so she's a typical teenager, take her to the mall, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, how long would you say you worked in the building for? 
I've been here since the building opened in 2001. This is my 22nd year in education. I started out as a classroom aide for the special ed students mm -hmm. and then kind of worked my way through to different secretarial positions. Yeah. And now I'm the principal secretary. That's really nice. Um, can you tell me some of your experiences with some of the students here? I think I have really good experiences with the students. I like to see after they graduate, when they come back like five, ten years, and they have families, or they've graduated from high school, uh, college, and then they've gone on to their careers, and they're successful, and stuff like that, and or different things that they didn't think that they could do. Yeah. And then they'll come back with stories. They, some of them have traveled. Some of them live out of the country. It's really neat to hear like how they've progressed and how like immature they might have been as a freshman to how much they've matured and turned into like young adults. Okay. Well, I'm Jason Martinez here with the staff member of the week, Ms. McIntyre. Thank you for watching. I'm Javier Morales. And I'm Marquez Haywood. You stay classy, Lindenwald. Thank you for watching today's telecast of The Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS TV. Watch this and other shows at LHSTV.com.